How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So guys, what does that exactly mean? Well, apparently EA probably is not going to be releasing content for tomorrow. It is Thanksgiving and uh, the reason I'm saying that is they did release Rival Rewards today. So still going forward guys, Rival Rewards will be on Thursday, but just because the fact there's a holiday tomorrow, I guess they, they probably just made it a day early instead of a day late so people wouldn't get mad so there you go you got it on wednesday also wednesday means a brand new team of the week and here it is guys the team of the week you got uh, a bunch of pretty good players i mean 91 mcdavid 88 dowdy 88 ekblad 87 barry 87 malkin 87 86 vasileski 84 Suter, 84 teravine 83 burakowski 81 nelson 80 bjorkstrand and 77 vacalinen so very very good cards guys very good cards we're gonna look at each of these cards and we're gonna look at the synergies and i'll tell you guys if i think uh any of them are worth getting so i mean if i can get an idea of you know which ones i'm gonna say but here are the prime times as well you got posternock halak i mean after that really they're not uh not the most exciting cards but uh you know they're, they're here i mean at the end of the day they're here the posternock would be nice to get for sure but uh besides that really not looking too hot uh these packs are also out now two per day you can get of those uh, I don't really know like what kind of packs are you. It's, it's like it's like those old 10k packs, guys. You can get a couple a day, and uh, yeah, I mean they're like pretty good odds. Uh, then this is the players pack, open only one per day, and uh, they're they're decent uh, probabilities. Nothing crazy though, uh, and these are still out as well. So let's, let's look at the team of the week here, guys, and uh, let's look at the synergies and which ones are worth getting. Terravine with one T, not really the most exciting one. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, He's decent for sure, 5'11", 178, but again, not anything uh, to be so, so pumped about, that's for sure. Uh, Connor McDavid's got BL, not the worst synergy, I mean, regardless of the synergy, 91 Connor McDavid with 99 speed is very, very good. The thing is, of course, 92 McDavid is out, you know, now with the Master Sets, so, I mean, this card's really not, like, that dated, it's pretty outdated, I'd say. Uh, his face saucer 85. I mean, it's 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 still a great card. Don't get me wrong. If I if I pulled it like an untradeable pack, I wouldn't be mad. But you get the idea. Brock Nelson 81 overall. I mean, again, if you're an Islanders fan, that's about the only reason I'd be pumped about this card. But then we got Bjorkstrand with BM. You know, decent again if you're a Jackets fan. Malkin 87s. Okay. The thing about him is uh, there's an 88 Malkin out already, so it's kind of like eh, like whatever. Not like the most exciting card by any means. That's for sure. Uh, 90 speed, solid on him, but. Synergies MP, AD for Burakoski. Again, not anything that crazy. Then we got Collins, got TN, WM, and WK with M, X, and DK. So not anything too crazy here. The defense is pretty good, though. 88 Ekblad looks actually really, really good for a right D. Uh, 93 speed, 6'4 defenseman with, with 216 pounds. I mean, that's... That's not bad. I mean, it's definitely a solid card to say the least. A card that honestly I might try out. I really might. I have the, I have the 99 speed Alex Petrangelo 87 overall. But this card looks tempting, no doubt. It really does. Uh, Suter 84 overall, decent speed. Nothing really else there. Uh, then you got the Barry 87 overall. He's already had a prime time come out though. He's got D WC on this one though. Definitely a nice card. Then you got Dowdy with 6'1", 91 or 94 speed. Uh, not too bad. 81. Slap shot accuracy is not too great, but Merkley with AD. And, of course, Vakalainen with WM. So, we got the coach, the goalie. Vasileski with SP is not too shabby at all. That is for certain. Uh, then you got Red Oh, I remember Red Obera. I'm stunned. Red Obera. Wasn't he on the Flames? I remember that guy. Wow. That's like that's a throwback, honestly, for me, guys. That's, that's definitely a throwback. All right. Well... At any rate, guys, Rivals came out today, and I opened some packs. I'll show you guys my best pulls, and I'll show you guys the set that has made addition to my team. Stop! Okay, I mean, he'll go for something. He'll go for something. That could be worse. No, that's actually not too bad. What are you pet me laughing? He'll go for like 50k, I'm sure. I know, I do over it. It just everything happens so fast. That's not good, right? That's not- I'm selling him no matter what. I don't want to use Dry Saddle. I don't want to use him. <laughs> I don't want to use Dry Saddle. Look at his stats. I don't like- I don't- I really so There you go, guys. We did that. 
Decent, decent pulls. Vasilevsky's not too bad. And we also got the dry saddle on the 14 gold collectible set. I'm really still not sure if I'm going to keep this card, though. It's tradable. Uh, he's like 600k. I might honestly just want to just want to sell him. I mean, early on, I have not felt good about him. Two games in, I know it's only two games, but he has not felt the most uh, like you know just the best card. I mean, he's been okay. I'm gonna show you guys some quick uh, gameplay clips from him though. So yeah, there they are. I mean, it's just decent. It's a good card. The synergies is what definitely, you know, keeps me interested, but I might as well sell him and just get that McDavid while I'm at it, right? Like, it's so tough. It really is just such a tough call. I mean, like, he looks good on paper, but just not played well for me. I could try him at center, potentially, but I don't know. It's just not looking too hot for him. I mean, besides that, my team is still pretty much looking the same as it was yesterday. I mean, it's still a very, very good team. I mean, no doubt there. Um, we got the defense. Uh, Carlson, that won't be there, obviously, once he goes away. That will be replaced by 87 Petrangelo, Coffey, Ekholm, Cider's good, Burns, and Pro Robin. The goalie is still going to be Mackenzie Blackwood. Not getting rid of him for a long time. He is very, very good, let me tell you. But yeah, I mean, the dry saddle I could see really being someone I'm going to sell at some point. I just got to see, uh, you know, how it goes, of course. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to have a video uploaded tomorrow. I don't know what time, but if you know if you guys can't watch, it's all good. Have a happy Thanksgiving for all my American viewers, of course. I know I probably said that for the Canadians as well, so I don't want to, you know, just be saying happy Thanksgiving just to the Americans. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, 14HenriqueTV. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers and subscribers of the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.